You're listening to the 14th Source for all geeky and nerdy news and discussion, which means that you're listening to a podcast. For all intents and purposes. I am Dee Bethel. And I'm Andrew Asplund. And we are your two overeducated, codependent nerd hosts, bringing you the things that we like to talk about, but filter through inquisitive and critical lenses in the episode for Friday, March 10th, 2023. And fun fact, Andrew, when I said episode, I was kind of lying. Okay, okay. Look, I know you said overeducated, and I get that I'm back in school, uh, but mm-hmm. it is finals week. Uh, yeah. In the like, whatever, the end of the quarter, I got stuff going on. I don't know if I have if I have time for this. I don't know if I have. Fair time. enough. You know what? I'm glad you said that because I actually have a stack of 90 papers right here. I need to get through. Okay. Because I've got 50 more coming in in a week and a half. Oof. So can we just actually? Can we just kind of? Can we just spend 40 minutes talking about the new episode of The Last of Us? No. Actually, <laughs> no, but I'm going to take two minutes to talk about something really important. All right. I went to the optometrist this week. Oh, you still have eyes. I, I wasn't aware of this. I, uh, oof, nor was I. Uh, <laughs> and because I, 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 as it ends up, there was a pandemic. Uh, most of my glasses are now wrecked. Or gone. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Okay. I, so I need new glasses. Uh, and okay. So I went to the optometrist, and then I walked out uh, to the get glasses room. And you asked, where where is your selection of pinchinaz? Where's the cheap shit? Uh, and oh. so I ended up I ended up buying uh, some glasses with insurance. I paid two hundred and forty dollars. Uh, without insurance, it would have been six hundred dollars. Oh wow! Uh, I was like, wow, that's really expensive. And they're not fancy. They're just glasses right they're right. just let me see i was a little bit perturbed and so i i went home and i i'd been directed by a friend to uh, a website uh <clears throat> an online glasses dealer and i went to the website entered my prescription which i now had and picked a frame did the p- clicks and basically the same thing that I bought from the store mm-hmm. for two hundred and forty dollars after insurance, I then paid thirty six dollars with no insurance. For I just need to like it blows my mind so much that is like I feel like having glasses is like a nerdy thing, right? Like mm-hmm. but the idea that like oh man, if you if you buy it at the place that society kind of says to buy it, mm-hmm. uh, get wrecked. You're gonna pay a billion dollars. Um, so, so no pince nez glasses for you. No, no, man. Like I'm just, Aww. I'm just. You couldn't go full Teddy Roosevelt. Come on, I'm buddy. just so so shocked. <laughs> just the idea. I don't know. Actually, with some of your broken ass glasses, you could turn them into in, <laughs> to pince <pince-nay. laughs> glasses. <for> <laughs> yeah. No. I. Just, it's it's. I I tell everyone I meet. I'm like, holy crap. Do you wear glasses? I just like I literally bought two pairs of glasses. One cost twenty times the other, and I'm gonna wait two weeks. So in about two or three weeks, mm-hmm. I'll have a, a follow up to say how did they compare. <clears throat> and so you're you're diligently working on a sponsorship, is what it sounds like. Oh uh, no, I don't. I don't want no. It's I don't want a sponsorship. I just want people to know uh, that Luxottica sucks ass. But anyway, uh, <laughs> that's 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 the only thing I want to say. That's your weekend that's geek. geek. Uh, <laughs> but it's been oh, it's been rough. It's it's a it's a tough time right now. Um, it's busy. So yeah. I think that's a good wrap up. Thanks, thanks for letting me complain about glasses. Well, I'm glad you can finally see. Well, you will be able to finally see how much I'm getting screwed. Clarity. There we go. You're just turning into Joe Pesci from <laughs> Lethal Weapon. <laughs> Maybe. So until you see, no, not. I don't want to say until you see how you're getting screwed. (laughs) So until we see you again, dear listeners, it's actually behind the curtains here. March is looking like a really busy month for both of us. We'll see how things turn out. So until you hear from us again, uh, I'm Dee Bethel. And I'm Andrew Asplund. And for all intents and purposes. That was a podcast. Dan and Andrew, Dan and Andrew, they're having a good time in America. Dan and Andrew, <laughs> Dan and Andrew, uh, they're trying to do their best as fascism. Oh, there's a bridge. There's a bridge. In the West.